All right, you guys, you can see the sign. We are at another Goodwill, so welcome to another edition of Goodwill Hunting. I'm so excited. It's a week before Christmas, and I just want to do some shopping before the holidays are definitely upon us. So let's go inside, and if you guys want to see other videos, hit the little eye on the top right-hand corner. You can hit my playlist and check out my other videos, or you can have, um, you can take a look down in the description box below. And what is this? This is nice. Salvage, $100. Okay, that's a little expensive for this, even though it's cute. But it's just from costs or Costco from Target, I think. This Sim Zoom lamp is so cute, $10, but it's broken right up there. And these outdoor lanterns are always cute. I always see these. All right, you guys, check out what I found. I found some clothes. This vintage Selena t-shirt is really cute. And I found these page shorts. Jimmy Jimmy, super cute. But check out these handbags. Now, I don't think this particular bag is an authentic Fendi, but it is actually leather. This is suede, and then has the little leather decals that are sewn on. And the lining does say Fendi and everything. I don't know if like the tag was like ripped out or fell out, but it's still really cute regardless. And I'm dying over this gorgeous Kate Spade. It's such a big bag. $25 and it's like brand new. Obsessed. That's authentic for sure and it's made of tweed. It's so pretty. And then this really cute, just large Lululemon bag. Again, this is also really adorable. And only $7.99. Even has a dust bag still or whatever this is. No, these are for shoes. Anyway, super cute. And also this really cute little like shoulder bag. It just has cute cats on it. I just thought it was so cute. $3.99. And yeah, that is pretty much it for what I found so far. So I'm like looking at this orange box because I like the color of the orange. Cute. $1.99. It's broken though. Okay, I'm taking one last look through all this stuff. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring my batteries and cards. They're in the car, I didn't want to go get them. I just wanted to go through here really quick and see what I can find. And yeah, so I'm just like running through here really, really fast. I just got these things. Then I'm gonna go recharge and redo everything back in the car. But this is cute. This is cute, what is this? Um, trying to see what brand it is. All Fair, Oli Fair. I don't know, it's kind of cute. Do I need this? It's like a cute bowl, maybe. 99 cents. Anyway, so yeah, that's what's gonna happen for right now. So, unfortunately, I didn't get a film too much in here, but I found a lot of good stuff. I'll show you guys what I found later. This is so pretty. I wish there was a big plate. And then we'll go from there. Oh, that's gorgeous. I think I might get this. $3.99. Hold on, I think I just found like a stack of plates over here. Hopefully my camera doesn't die or run out of battery before. I gotta show you guys these plates. What are these? Royal Ironstone. This is kind of cute, very, those guys look pretty sassy on there. The plates are a little dirty. <gasps> oh, blue and white plates, gorgeous. They're broken though, let me see if there's any that aren't. Look what I found, I'm pretty sure I own the dinner plate for this set. I'm gonna check it out to see if it's broken anywhere. Otherwise, I think I'm gonna get it so that you can match. We just left the store, I got a bag full of stuff, so I'm super duper excited to show you guys what I got. Again, I'm so sorry that camera and everything was just against me when we were in the store but i'll have the haul for you guys when we get to the house and I'm super excited to show you guys what i got we just got to the mall i'm gonna go inside hopefully uh not everything's sold out because there's so many people at the mall it was pretty hard to find parking so let's go inside and see what we can find yay okay guys the disney store is right there i can see mickey 
go inside. Hopefully they still have those Tsum Tsums left because I'm a little bit late as far as coming here to pick them up. And they just came out this morning. And oh, look at Tinkerbell. So yeah, the Royal Gordon Tsum Tsums came out and they're probably all sold out. So cross your fingers for me. Say a little prayer. Let's see if we can find any left. I think these are the ones. Yeah, they are the ones. Okay, I'm going to grab them. Getting the little alligator from Pirate Fairy for Zach because we love that movie. And now I'm looking at these stuffed animals. The sloth is so cute. Alright you guys, I just completed the kids' gifts. So I think they're all done. And I'm gonna get a snack. Time for a Good evening salutations YouTube, it's Hadrian. We are back at the house. And I just wanted to do a quick haul video for you guys. So I can show you guys what I got when I was out thrifting. So I got a bunch of really good stuff. Um, if you guys want to see the video for all these goodies I'm going to be showing you guys right now, I'll have the links right up here. There's going to be a couple different thrifting, or a, different, a couple different stores that I purchased these items from. So if you want to watch those videos, I'll have the links right here. Just click the little eye, the playlist will pop out, and you can select those videos. And we'll have them down in the description box below if you want to check them out as well. So, I found a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, first of which I'm going to show you is this, okay, this is so random, but I just thought it was so cool. You guys can see yourselves in the camera right there. Look at that. Let's see you guys. Ah. But check this out. It's a Balenciaga. I don't know. Like, I think this is like a display or something. And it wound up in a Goodwill. And I have some sunglasses right here to show you guys how it looks when you have the glasses on here. So, there you go. It's really, really cool. And I am really excited for this. So, yeah. I'm just gonna display this somewhere in my room, probably like on a table or something. And I just think it's so, so awesome. Remember, as I'm like looking right now for a place to put it, but I'm just gonna set it down right here. And yeah, so that was really cool. It was only like $6.99, so I just got it. I just thought it was an awesome piece to have and like sculptural, decorative, and fun. So can't really go wrong with that, right? So, the next item that I found is this Pendleton Women's, uh, it's just like a cute little, uh, cardigan, is, I guess is what it would be, and it's in a periwinkle color in a large. It's in really good condition, really pretty, and I think it's still new, it still has the little buttons and the little bag attached, so, I think they're still new. Then, oh! This brought me back. I just had to get it. It was like in the dollar bin at the Goodwill. And it's just like this cute little Sanrio Peckle diary. I feel like I had almost the same exact one when I was little. Now it was just like color in it and like scribble. Because I don't even think I knew how to write yet when I had this. And I just thought it was so cute. It just brought me back. made me feel nostalgic. And I just had to get it. So this is just so cute. And yeah. So there's that. Then I just found a couple other things. I found this uh, Kevin Murphy. It's just a shampoo. And I think it's like brand new and it's full. So Kevin Murphy makes really, really great products. And I'm super excited to try this out. Heat protecting shampoo. There you go. Then, oh, I was like dumbfounded when I found this Zoom Zoom. He's just like the little shark. And he's the whale shark, or what are they called? Shark, whale shark. Whale shark? Giant shark thing from uh, Finding Dory, I believe. And he still has a little tag attached, and he's so cute. So I'm just going to add him to my collection. I have a couple of Simpsons right there. I'm just going to stick him right there on my bookcase. And another thing that was in the dollar bin was just this uh, GoPro holder. So it's like for a GoPro Hero 4, which is perfect, because I think that's what I have. And he's just a little holder. He's silicone orange. Uh, I recently got one with, uh, what's it called? He is... I got one recently that had like these skulls on it, and it's in a neoprene. But it doesn't have an opening for the back, and this is cool because it has a... You can actually cut out the back opening, a DIY pre-cut back panel, so I can do that with a screen on the back. So I thought that was cool. I'm excited for this. I can put that on there and still be able to see the screen. Then I got this, okay, 
this beautiful, I don't know what it is exactly, I think it may be a llama, llama ornament. <laughs> I thought he was so cute. He kind of reminds me of the lion from uh, Steven Universe, so I just thought he was cute. He was also like a dollar, so I just got him. He's like a cute ornament. I'm going to stick him right here for the time being. And, okay, you guys know how obsessed I am with unicorns. Check out this beauteous thing. Now, okay, I don't exactly know what he's for. Uh, I just know that he's, like, ceramic and beautiful. And he has two little, like, screw things right here. So I think you can screw them into the wall. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to put him, I don't know what I'm going to do with him, but he's going to go somewhere and he's beautiful and gorgeous and I just love him. He's so beautiful. And then you guys know that I love collecting anything that's a unicorn, so I have to get that. Okay, so then I always need lightning cables because I share mine with the kids whenever they want to charge their iPads and they have a habit of charging the iPad and playing with them like and holding them like this. And they rest the part that charges, like that goes into the iPad on the table. And for some reason they just break off. Well, not for some reason. They break off because of the, the weight, the pressure, and all that stuff. So I'm always, like whenever I see one at the Goodwill, I always purchase them. Usually, just in case I have like a backup supply. But this one, I think I'm just going to keep for myself. I'm not going to let the kids use it because it is beautiful. It's brand new. $7.99. And it's a three foot long, uh, it has like a, it's like leather. I don't know if it's real leather. It smells like real leather. But it's like a leather, it has a leather cord. I just thought that was so cool. And I love the color. I wish this was like a bracelet because I would totally wear it. But it's really, really awesome. And now I have a cord that I'm not going to share with the kids because I don't want them to break it. But I just thought this was really cool. It was a little pricey at $7.99, but it was brand new. Things at the Goodwill that are um, have the pink sticker means that they're brand new from, like, usually from Target. So that's that. Super duper excited to have found that. Then uh, I found this t-shirt. And it's just like an oversized shirt. I think it's like a, yeah, it's large. And it's just a Charmander, and you know me and Pokemon, I just love Pokemon, and I just got it so I can like just wear it around the house, or like for pajamas or whatever, so $7.99 Charmander, super cute, or not $7.99, it was like a dollar, so that was fun. Uh, then I found... Okay, now on to the bags. Oh no, let me do this plate first because I did get one magical plate and it's so, 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 so pretty. And there it is. It's a Wooden Sons Made in England gorgeous plate. I know I had its original sticker of $7.99. This one was $3.99. And it was a little pricey, but this was just such a beautiful plate. White and green. And... Green is also one of my, I feel like every color is my favorite color, but I love yellow, green, blue, and red, which is a lot of colors. Yellow is my most favorite color, but, um, I just wanted, like, a, a green and white plate, and this totally encompasses that, so I'm super excited for this plate. I think it's super pretty and a great addition to my magical plate collection, so I have that. And now to the handbag. Woo! Okay, so. If you guys watch those videos, you guys know that I found some really good bags. And that is in all the bags that I found. Because unfortunately, when I was going out, I didn't have all my stuff with me. When I went to that one store where I found a lot of stuff, and blah, 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 long story short, I didn't actually have all of my batteries and um, SD cards with me when I was filming. So I was trying to be really quick, really short, and I didn't want the battery to run out and the SD card to run out. So. This was the, one of the first things I found that I showed you guys. Now it is a... I don't know if it's exactly an authentic piece. I'm pretty sure that it is not. Uh, but I just liked it because it was all leather. So this is actually suede. And the appliques are all um, their leather as well. 
So I just thought it was so cute and it kind of looks like a hippie little like fun bag. It has all of the correct um, markings like the Fendi on the, ta on the uh, hardware and everything and the lining has the Fendi so it might be vintage I'm not too sure it didn't have like a serial number or a uh, hologram sticker or anything but I just thought it was really cute regardless and I think at $5.99 for an all leather bag that's still a pretty good price and it's really really cute you can use that as a shoulder bag or um, I purchased a Fendi bag like this before that had like the little like kind of like a belt thing like this and I just found a skinny um, belt like that you wear and then just cut it off and then redid it so that I'd be able to use it as crossbody for something like this so I just think this is a really cute bag and I'm probably gonna have it up for sale if anyone's interested but I just thought it was so so cute and it was all leather so I couldn't really go wrong with it so it's just so cute and adorable I don't know if it's authentic again not too sure but for an all leather bag really really cute then while we are on Fendi I actually found a authentic Fendi piece now this one is super 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 cute it the only thing wrong with it is that it's a little dirty inside like someone spilled candy something sticky there's like a stuck wrapper inside it's kind of gross but there's the inside i don't know if you can see it back there it's like right there yeah. there yeah you see it anyway it's like uh it's very similar in shape and style to the louis vuitton speedy it's probably like a speedy 25 or 30 really really cute and it has the uh checkered print on it similar to the damier um azure or the graphite except that the squares are larger and then it has a leather piece going down there it says fendi italy 1925 all the hardware says fendi and then we have this little fendi tag inside so i think it's authentic crossing my fingers but it's really really cute regardless and it's leather on the outside the inside is leather but it's peeling a little bit unfortunately just from age this is an older bag but it's just really really cute and I just thought it would be a great buy and it was pretty cheap I believe this was only um, $25 so really really cute love it so there's that and then the next bag that I found is this really cute Lululemon bag so this is canvas it's a white canvas with a green lime green neoprene and this is a huge huge bag you can carry so much stuff in here great for the gym great for every day and inside has great pockets it still has the I think this is for your shoes and it's still attached with a little cord and this is seven dollars and 99 cents the interior is super duper clean and it has great compartments and this is gonna be a great bag for the gym the only thing is it was a little dirty on the outside I'm gonna try and clean it but you know white isn't as forgiving as other colors but then again it is lululemon so it should be able to clean pretty easily i'm going to look up how to clean it actually there's a little tag on here 100 percent cotton polyester da 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 lining exclusive trim i can't wash it but i can probably just bot clean it anyway really really great bag great size and it was a great price so really for $7.99 you can't go wrong and I'm excited to have found another Lululemon bag this is my second Lululemon bag and I'm definitely gonna have this up for sale after I clean it up and see how much stuff I can get off of it but otherwise it's actually in pretty good condition just has a couple spots on the back and it's just a little dusty and yeah because it was on the floor so I pretty sure that most of the dirt on it is from people like kicking it around from being on the floor so 
I don't think it's going to be too much of a big deal. Now this next bag I was super duper excited to find. I just love an all leather bag and this one is pretty much as cute as they come. It's a great Madewell tote. Madewell. And this bag was only $6.99. I'm a little upset that they wrote the price on the outside right here. I'm going to see if I can get it off. Cross our fingers. I'm not too sure. Because this is a very porous leather. And they wrote right on the leather. It's not even inside. It's on the outside. I don't know why they couldn't write it inside. Which makes me a little upset that they did that. They could have at least written it on the leather inside. But... I don't know. The Goodwill sometimes, like, they drive me nuts when they do this kind of stuff. It doesn't have the crossbody strap anymore, but you can really attach any crossbody strap to it and it'll still work out. And I guess with the way that the bag is, you're not really going to see the price regardless of whether or not I can cut it off. But you are going to see it when you're like, trying to open and close it with the zipper, but I don't know. But it's still really, really cute. It's a great size. And just add a crossbody strap, and it'll be fun. And right now, it's, like, really in and um, fun to do, like, a contrasting strap or, like, one that has embellishments on it. And I'm really looking for some right now because I want to get some for some of my bags. And I saw some online. I think I'm going to order them. But I think that would be really cute for this bag because it's just, like, a great golden brown bag. And then just a fun embellished strap would just add so much whimsy and color and excitement to the bag. And, yeah. Madewell just makes really, really great bags as well. They, I think they always use Italian leather and I don't think they're made in Italy but yeah this one's made in China but the bags are still beautiful they're still gorgeous and I just love this leather it's so beautiful. Oh okay I have one last bag to show you but I totally forgot that I had this one last piece. Now I got this one and it is brand new. It still has this tag. It's called, uh, it's by a brand called Six Crisp Days. And I've been looking for... Okay, I don't know what happened to the camera. And for that, I apologize. But yeah, so this jacket, super duper awesome. It was a little pricey at um, $25, but it's like literally brand new. And it's so warm and I'm sweating right now actually, so I need to take it off already. But I'm super excited. It's kind of like a long-ish jacket. It's a little bit elongated. And I just think it's such an awesome bag. Now, one last item to show you guys that I was over the moon, over the top excited to find. And uh, I was so fortunate and lucky. You guys probably know what it is. You're probably like, where is this bag? If you guys watched the other video where I showed you this bag when I was at the store. But without further ado, here it is. Now, this is a Kate Spade. Now, it looks very similar to the Hermes uh, Kelly bag. And it's so beautiful. And it has, like, kind of like an iridescent black, um, what is this fabric called? Tweed. Um, really, really pretty. The inside is so clean. It has the polka dotted fabric and they what's really great is that they didn't write the price inside which really makes me happy and this was only $25 and it's like brand new inside it has never been used it has a gorgeous gorgeous clasp turn lock and the lock isn't even really that scratched it only has like a couple scratches on it which are honestly not even that big of a deal and then it has this shoulder strap you can wear it like this, or you can wear it across your back like I would do if I ever wore it like this. And it's still really easy to carry. And you guys know that I love carrying my bag like this, even though the strap is not that long. I still love having it higher up on my back. And you know, it's actually better for your back, I believe, if you wear it that way. So I was super duper excited to have found this bag. It's beautiful. I don't know yet if I'm going to sell it. Message me if you guys are interested. But I think I might add this to my personal collection because I just think it's so neat. It's so beautiful. And $25 for such a great Kate Spade bag that's brand new. <sighs> I'm so happy. So just take a look at how gorgeous this bag is. And with that being said, thank you guys again so, so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know, that, let me know that down in the comments below what your favorite item was that I ended up purchasing. And thank you guys again so, so much for watching. I love you guys immensely. Hope you guys have an amazing holiday, Christmas, a new year, everything. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye.